Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 where hopefully we're gonna see my wife today. Uh, alas. Such a... Can I put a custom marker down? <gasps> Cave with a shipping guy. Oh. Cave with knolls. Let's just say cave with dolls. And will it stay there? That's cool. I thought you was like it was like a, a custom marker, like um. Like oh, you can go here, but once you hit it, it's gone. But like maybe they will actually just stay. Because there's a couple been a couple little little things that'd be nice, like little little entryways that I can't get into. That it would have been nice to mark as having found them. Never mind. He said she went down by the river, that's right. Blood, blood. Blood, blood. Wow, she's dead. Oh, she's alive, right there. My wife, my wife, she's right there. I need a quick one. <laughs> my wife! One horn, the stink of Avernus. Advocatus Diaboli. I might have to kill you. Oh be God's dad. my gosh! The blade of frontiers. Thought I'd shaken you for good. That'll teach me to underestimate. Oh you. my gosh! Uh, you're the devil. We've been hunting Karlak, right? Bloody right. An honor to be chased by the blade of frontiers. But I. Ugh. Oh, she's A got the worm. Roars through you. Her heat. Fiery as the hells, then you're lost in visions of demonic armies as you tear through a landscape of fire and blood, the blood war. You saw it from above as the Nautiloid passed through Avernus. This woman was on the front line. She's so beautiful. Evidence. Proof that you're a devil. A gladiator in the Archdevil Zariel's army. I can explain, but it's a whole situation. If you just hear me out... Another vision. Karlak's blade raised, slicing through devils. Zariel's servants as her eyes dart Get your around, sword escape, out of my face! Rage and desperation seep into you. She is a victim of the blood war. Not an agent of it. Yep. She's trying to trick us. Don't believe her This lies. hasn't tricked us once. You saw the truth. I never wanted to serve Zariel. I was enlisted in her army against my will. Forced to fight, and fight I did. When I saw an opportunity to get away, I took it. Finally home. Or near it anyway. You served her. That's enough to damn well, No. <sighs> uh, stand down, Will. You saw what I saw. Like, I think even, even if I wasn't madly in love with her already, <laughs> Also, I love her voice. Like, her voice is... I was a little worried. I hadn't heard her talk in anything. I'd just seen pictures of her. And I was a little, I was really... I was kind of worried that her voice wouldn't be, like, super attractive. And while it's not, like, you know, like the... It's not like Hades level voice, you know, sexiness. Uh, it's perfect. It's perfect for her. She's gorgeous. And I freaking love her. But it's... I'm a little frustrated because my headphones are so quiet. I can barely hear anything. But it's like Will has like been so caught up in this that he refuses to see like that was her uh, what we saw through her eyes. She's not a trickery person, you know. She's she's a victim of the blood war. Also, I already knew this, so like I believe her implicitly. But as a paladin, it's like you can't just go killing people without you know trials and stuff. I mean, like the paladin can be. I think unfortunately the paladin can be judge, jury, and executioner. But like given a reason to like hold up for a minute a pallet like a pallet and any decent pallet and will hold up for a minute and be like okay let's get both sides of the situation you know stand down will will catches his breath and his lips straighten sheer dread twists his face oh. you don't know what you're saying you're asking me to trust a devil oh yes you're stubborn Kalak's not a devil and you know it. Listen to sense now. Don't want this to end badly for either of us. 
You know monsters, right? Better than anyone. Look into my eyes. Can't you see I'm not what you think? Shit. You really are no devil, are you? I've... I've been deceived. Oh, thank the gods. Thought I was gonna have to take your head. <laughs> you would have died in the attempt. But there have been enough threats today. Okay, we're getting along. Truce then, eh? Oh! Aye. Truce. She's so hot! I'm Karlak. But you already knew that. And you are... I'm... Your ticket to carrying the... No, I am super interested in making friends. Well met, soldier. Nice to meet a friendly around here. It's been tough going so far. I may not be a devil, but I can put the Blade's reputation to work. How would you feel about helping me kill some evil bastards? The tear guys? Little background, if your moral compass needs something to point at. <laughs> you already know I fought in the Blood War. I was good. Really good. It turns out, I've got a knack for killing demons. That made me a valuable asset. Mm. Zariel, the archdevil herself, made me as her personal attack dog. I played along until I could get the fuck out of there. But devils don't like to lose their assets. <laughs> Zariel liked it so little. She sent a bunch of goons, so-called paladins mm. of tears, to take me back. Problem is, I'm not going. All those scars and like all that glowing chest stuff, we're not gonna... And all that stuff that's like jammed into her, are we gonna bring that up, please? Um, let's send them back where they came from? I don't know, I mean, trying to... I'm a paladin killing paladins, I should be like, hey, proof? Uh, you want me to kill the people hunting you? Don't worry, I'll lead the charge. Don't worry. But I could use your help. There's a lot of them and only one of me. After that, we can team up. Take Faerun by the short hairs. Sounds oh, good. Oh, yeah. Mm, yeah, yeah, it does. Okay, yep, let's... Fuck yes. Yep. <laughs> they cornered me outside the toll house just up the hill. Doubt they've gone far after the scorching I gave them. Uh, hang on, though. Looks like you've got enough backup at your side. Not sure there's room for me. Uh, no, one of I'll them... I'll catch up with you when it's time to camp for now. But don't get to any of the fun stuff without me. Got it? Got it. I love her. Um, listen here, though. He's dead. He doesn't count. I guess I can't ship him back because he's dead. All right, now we have to go back to camp. <laughs> you've been witness to a pantomime, I'm sorry to say. And I've played my part all too poorly. Someone set you on Karlak's tail. I'd like to know who this source of yours is. This is so intense. This is so over the top. I can say only this. Karlak's not the only one who's had a villain's knife held to their throats. One night soon when we make camp, the veil will be lifted and I'll pay my penance. Um, should I be worried? You're not in any danger. I promise. I can't say the same about yeah, me. Yeah, I mean, he's a warlock. Like, he's obviously made a pact. He's he's a warlock. We are going to camp. Could we... We could probably use a oh, long... I don't know, the magic touch. I don't know after dying... Still alive. So, that's progress. Let's just go to camp. I have- I forget I don't have to like go to a specific place, I can just press the button and then I can come back to wherever I'm at. Um, hello, hello wife, I am- hey, just give me- ahead. Give me one second, I have to bring back a stair. have a word. Fate spins along as it should. Please. Dost thou require a new ally? I need a resurrection. Or mayhaps a resurrection. Yeah. Oh shoot, interesting. I need to resurrect someone. Then thou must return I have it. with the proper pen. I have two hundred coins. I want to resurrect the state. This is the price of balance. Yeah, here you go. Well counted. What? I recommend she keeping my distance. She disapproves? For a of resurrecting people? 
by doom oh, and oh, back dusk, up. I strike thy name from the archives. Rise. Hi, how do you feel, darling? I thought we were going to see some real sparks fly between Will and Karlak. <laughs> it's almost a pity things ended so amicably. Seeing those two duke it out would be fun. <laughs> okay, bye. I'll tell him to stay at camp in a minute, but what? Dang, Nabbit. Hey. Oh, does she already hate me? Man. How did you end up fighting in the blood war? Trust me, I'll tell you all about it after we take care of the goons on my tail. She's so attractive. <laughs> I just... I can't freak out while she's talking because I can't hear her. So I have to be quiet. And I have to be quiet because I'm in a hotel. But, oh my gosh! In your expert opinion, what's the best way to kill a devil? Depends on the type. Ice devils hate an inferno, but that's an easy one. Orthons love projectiles. What they don't love is getting their bombs lobbed right back in their faces. Demons, on the other hand, every demon is absolutely singular. You can't ever think you've got them typed out. <laughs> sharp instincts, sharp weapons, and a knack for improvisation. That's the only way to survive. She's them. so passionate. <laughs> anyway, what were we talking about? Oh, we talking, she's so cute. Oh my gosh, she's, you know how when someone's talking about something they're passionate about and it's not something maybe you don't know a lot about but you're happy for them? And that's my face. I'm just like, oh, like listening to her talk about murdering different types of <laughs> people. I'm like, why are you so passionate about this? She's so enthusiastic. Like just in general, like I love her movement. This isn't where I thought I'd end up. How about you? <laughs> Funny you should ask. I was just thinking about what would have become of us without that Nautiloid. I mean, I know where I'd be. Trapped in Avernus still, with the Blade of Frontiers on my tail. But what about you? No one's asked me that. Um, I'd be in the middle of another adventure, blessedly free of any tadpole. I can picture you getting mixed up in some outrageous shit. Giants, beholders... Oh, yeah. <laughs> they ends the world. Yeah, look at me. Maybe once we've wrapped up the current <laughs> shenanigans, we'll rest a bit and find some new heap of troubles to throw ourselves at. Oh my gosh, she wants to hang out with me. Oh my gosh, I'm so, I'm so excited. I'm so excited, honestly. She's so great. I really wasn't sure what to expect from her personality-wise, and I was worried. I was like, maybe I'm like she's like visually my type totally. But I was like, I'm really like I have a thing for voices. It's well established. Like if you have a sexy voice, it doesn't really matter what you look like. I'm I'm woohoo. You know, I'm like yeah, you attractive. <laughs> you know, um, but at least in video games, pro real life too probably. Um, but uh. Yeah, I wish she could have like a personality where she's like super grumpy all the time or like just super chipper all the time. But like she's not like chip, chirpy, stupid chirpy. She's like, she likes to hit things and she likes to go on adventures and she likes me. Yes! <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, uh, what do you want, man? <laughs> what do you want? Hmm, I feel like sleep would be a good one for a vampire. And it was useful when I was using it with my friend the other night, honestly. A feat. What do you want, my guy? Um, I don't know. Alert? Maybe alert would be good. Yeah. Oh, dual wielder. Actually, yeah, let's give him dual wielder. Yes. And now he can stay. He can stay. We gotta get rid of the, um... We gotta get rid of the paladins. You're staring at me again. What do you want? Why is he angry at me? Stay here. Oh, darling, I'm hurt. I thought we had something special. You've been grumpy at me. I guess I'll spend my evenings lounging here while you do all the hard work. It sounds awful. <laughs> it sounds awful. <laughs> he is funny. 
Hey. Hey. She's, oh my gosh, did you see her? Do you, do you see her? Come on. Fuck yeah. Yes! <laughs> I love her so much. Okay, let's see. I think she's a barbarian? Is she barbarian? Yes. Perfect. A barbarian, a paladin. Look at, oh my gosh, you guys. I just got to get up for you. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm finally, I'm rejuvenated. I was, I was flagging a bit because I've been playing too long without my wife by my side. But we gotta ask her about that glowing heart stuff. Wild heart. Okay. All right. Whatever. We, I don't know what that is. Wild heart. You're too with me. She's a nature barbarian. I'm a nature paladin. Yes! Yes! We were meant to be! <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so awesome! Uh, oh my gosh, she has to speak with animals too! You guys, you guys, we were made in hell for each other. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh wow, change your beast to heart. You can change your heart whenever you level up. You can use unrelenting ferocity and have resistance to all damage except psychic. Bows have disadvantage opportunity attacks. Okay. Wow, okay. Your jump distance increases. Your allies have advantage on melee attack rolls against enemies within two meters of you. I'm actually I'm gonna give her bear heart. That seems very useful. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Oh, and it, oh no, that's her, I was like, and it heals, but I think that's just uh, an, uh, an action that she gets with the level up. Rage ends early if you don't attack an enemy or take damage each turn. You can't cast or concentrate on spells when rage, bear piercings. Hold up, hold on a sec. Oh my gosh. You can change her piercings. That is such a good detail. That is such a good detail. I love you, Larian. Thank you. So much. Thank you so much for my wife. I owe you my life. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, that's the kind of thing people, that's the kind of little details people like to do. And they included it. We're good on a bistro heart. What does she want? Oh crap. Um. Oh right, barbarian has unarmored defense while not wearing any armor. You add your constitution modifier. So I should up her constitution. Maybe I should do that. We've got a durable. You regain full hit points each time you take a short rest. There was another one that lets you add two to something. Ability improvement. Yes. Yes? Yeah? Uh-huh. Uh, 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 uh. Maybe that's silly, but I'm gonna do it. I'm not min-maxing. Oh my gosh. Okay, can we take a nap? No, okay, I should talk to everybody, make sure everyone's doing all right. I think we're okay. Karlax got the brawn of a warrior and the wiles of a survivor. Oh, you like her? Best of all, she speaks her mind plainly and fully. Show her due respect. Best of all, she speaks her mind. She probably would speak she probably wouldn't be very polite to you. I can't see her being like subservient like you like. Well met. You all right? A devil and devil hunter standing shoulder to shoulder against a common enemy. Rather poetic, I think. Um, that protocol of yours, I make it so difficult. The instructions were easy enough, weren't they? If slightly elaborate. Like I said, I'm dangerous even in death. 
I'm merely trying to protect those around me. Yeah, you could have told me. I find that a healthy amount of theatrics, a voice from the beyond, a magic flute, a friendly, if highly combustible, <laughs> magma method <laughs> tends to make for a more compelling character. I guess it does. If nothing else, I'm sure I piqued your curiosity. You did. You did. I will say that. I will... Okay, he did succeed on many levels where it's like, oh, if I have to go through all these hoops, even if they aren't excessively complicated... Surely there's merit to what he says and the danger of this and also I'm curious to see how it plays out blah blah blah, you know, okay That's fair Um, how's the pup doing? Why do we have all these? Anything of use? Could I put my books in here because that would be nice Oh, also, let me see. Oh, she doesn't have- Oh, he likes me. Gail likes me. And Will likes me pretty well, too. Resistance to fire damage. Oh, let's look at her inventory. Oh, somebody- I wish there was like a- like a general, like- Oh, you can look at everybody's inventory all at once. Because somebody has a great axe somewhere. I need to find a shop. I wish I had a... I wish this was like Origins where you have a shopkeeper in your, your, your house with you. Gonna autosave. Pup. How's hey the pup doing? Oops. I, I'm Carlac. Oh my gosh, she's so attractive. Look at her. Oh my gosh. This is like, I guess like, uh, you could say it's like, oh look, I'm doing the, the fantasy of making the woman I love petting a dog, but it was an accident. Never a dull moment. Come here, come here, Pop. How you doing? I think, I, w I do wish you could bring him along, but I guess if he died, I would be horrified. Hope you're keeping well, friend. I, mean, I am. How are you? Come here. And it's just nice to have a little little friend, little animal friend back at camp waiting up, waiting for you, you know? So, and he has no risk of dying here. He keeps crew morale up. Moving in. And he keeps, you know, we keep him safe. Time for a nap. Oh, hello. Fire. She's coming. Why are we all three walking together? He did mention that she was gonna come get him. Well, you've been naughty. And you know what happens when you're naughty. God damn it. Anyone but her. Uh, aren't you a luscious thing? Just who in the nine hells are you? You absolute stinker! You kept me a secret? Hmm. Time to let the Hellcat out of the bag. Call me Mazora. I'm Will's patron, the fount of his power. My pet's been unruly, and his leash needs a yank. Uh oh. We had a deal. Will. Oh! But Karlak's still breathing. I've taken more pleasant shits than you, Mizora. And at least those can be buried after. That's no kind of talk for a lady. By the way, Karlak, Zariel sends her regards. You told me! Devils only! She's a tiefling, not a monster! How precious. The little pupsters found his bark. Clause G, Section 9. Target shall be limited to the infernal, the demonic, the heartless, and the soulless. Karlak meets the criteria, pet. Trust me on this. I was curious. I think at one point I did ask, right? I'm like, oh, I feel like he's been... Like, his safety is tied up in this, right? Where, like... 
he wasn't tot- apparently he wasn't totally forthright, you know, where I guess his the powerful patron was actually his patron, which is hilarious. Um, um, and who sends him after like devils and stuff. Um, and that's why he was so distraught. It was like, and I, I did think for half a second, I'm like, he looks so distraught. And I wasn't sure if it was because he was like deceived and she was like not actually evil, like Karlak, or um, if it was because he had to kill her, otherwise he was gonna be in big trouble. Because I know he's a warlock and I know he has a patron. Like I already knew that going into the game, you know? Um, but I didn't realize that she was the one telling, like, I mean, I, I had a thought that maybe she, that the patron would be upset if Karlak wasn't killed or something like that, right? Or like Will's life would be in danger if he didn't kill Karlak, but. Um, you better not lay a damn finger on Karlak. Don't you worry. That ship has long sailed the sticks. But a defiant pup must still pay his price. To wit. Oil burns in the fires of Avernus. The lightning storms of Dis strike his flesh. Oh. His soul passes through each layer of the hells, gaining their essence and their torment. Uh oh. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa, he's been modified? That's better. What the hells have you done? A promise broken, a price paid. You know the terms. Is he a devil now? You get used to the new form, pet. There's no going back. Some magic even I can't undo. Now, let's see how the frontiers fare without their precious blade. Karlak, keep an eye on him, would you? I'll be keeping mine on you. Me? Oh, and Will, don't forget, our pact still stands. Ta-ta. Oh, but I thought maybe this was like the end of it. And I was like, wow, that was fast. Oh no. Oh no, everybody's upset. Is he a demon now? Or a devil? Or something? We can always cast Disguised Person on him if he doesn't, you know. I was like, I was like, why is that all lit up yellow? It's because if I pick it up, I'll be encumbered. I'll be honest, soldier. I'm reeling. Will hardly knows me, but he chose my life over his. He's a noble guy. It's been a long time since someone stuck their neck out for me like that. He's just over there drinking. He's a good man, maybe the best of us. You can say that again. When he was chasing me through Avernus, I thought he was just another sad merc. How wrong I was. I think she's technically heartless. I think her heart has been replaced. Also, can I just say, like, I am loving the fire effects on her. They did a very good job. I think she had the most love and attention paid to her during development because having a character whose design has, I mean, she's not doing it right now, but like, whose design just has like natural flames coming out of her hair. Or maybe that only happens when she's angry. I don't know. She's, she was pretty angry. But, uh. A private word would be nice. Gods damn her straight back to the hell. I mean, she went back. Just look at me. I did what was right, and Mazora made me pay for it. I'd be hunting devils and demons, she said. Traitors and hypocrites, heartless evils of all sorts, but not. not Zariel's victims. Not innocent tieflings. His eye changed, and my arcana save failed. Uh, cool. Anyway, his eyes also changed. Um, he has been turned into a devil. You can just turn into a devil? That's crazy. The Blade of Frontiers has some explaining to do. I'll say what I can, but it won't be enough. It's Mizora who grants me the power to conjure armor and cast eldritch blasts. Before I was infected, I could even call hell beasts and summon festering clouds, but I promise you, 
Every thrust of my blade and every flame I sparked was for the good of the coast. Why? Yeah. When the hell did you get involved with Mizura? Ah. The one little question that put me out of house and home. I can't utter the terms or circumstances of the pact. I can tell you most all else, but the pact, I'm forbidden, unless Mazora permits it. But I'll say this, the moment I pacted myself to Mazora, I have not regretted for a heartbeat. It was my proudest deed. It was worth the sacrifice. All I can give you on that is my solemn word. Well met. He's, I did not, I just, I was, is his skin kind of red now too? Like, I was not, in all the pictures, Will just looks like a normal warlock. I wonder if there was a way for me to keep him as a normal warlock. Somehow. I don't know. Maybe we, if we had gone right after the Paladins of Tear? I don't know. How does it feel to be a devil? It's said that anyone who bathes in the river of blood emerges as one born anew. It's a lot like that, I imagine. I feel the weight of these horns on my head, curling upwards like a mammoth's tusks. I feel these ridges snaking down my neck, not to mention a few bumps and prongs in unmentionable places. Oh, okay, well. But I haven't seen my reflection just yet. Be my mirror. What do you see? Oh. Um. Quite the handsome devil, if I do say, I will say that. <laughs> I can't tell if you're being silly or serious. I'll accept the flattery either way. I suppose I'll grow used to the new me. He Horns and all. is surprisingly... The people will see a curiosity. Maybe even a beast hungry for their souls. But I will slay their monsters. Keep them safe. And one day they will see the Blade of Frontiers again. He really is, like, straight out of a storybook, you know? I kind of like it, honestly. It's a bit of a breath of fresh air. I mean, maybe he has, like, a tragic past or whatever, but, like, it's kind of nice having a person who, like, truly believes in doing good for good's sake, you know? Like, I don't know. I trust him, except I, I don't know why they keep doing those weird faces, but, like, I trust, I trust him. I think he's a good man, the best of us all, like I said earlier, like what, what my character said earlier. Um, and he's gonna, if he's gonna be that kind of guy, right, who fights from the shadows because, like, the people fear him or what he looks like, but he knows in his heart of hearts that he truly wants to protect them. And so, even if they dis despite the, are afraid of him, if they deride him, he will protect them. Anyway, you know, so. Uh, anyway, and we're gonna be super understatement of the year. You should get out of the pact. A possibility that's kept me awake countless nights. But I don't have a clue where to start, other than play her games and play by the rules. That's the only language devils listen to. Um, why obey her at all? What could she do that's worse than she already has? She could kill me for one, and that's not the worst of that's it. That's true. My contract is very clear. I can bring Mazora no harm. She'll have to let me out of my pact willingly. The only way out is if I can out-bargain her. We're standing here with nothing but the clothes on our backs and the worms in our heads. If we can be here, we put our worms together. Yeah. <laughs> we can. I'm sure of it. How glad I am that you see me as more than my patron's pet. Well, yeah. No, I truly do think he's a, he's a good man. And, uh, it's funny, there's never a dull night, apparently. I keep thinking we'll just go to bed and wake up, but that's, um, not how it is, apparently. But, uh, that's fine by me. <laughs> it's always cool when stuff happens. I am, I guess I will go ahead and call this one here. This is the part where I normally say thank you to my patrons while I'm recording the video, but this is editing squirrel because there was a recent change to patron stuff. Uh, to patron people so i'm paying attention and i'm including that so really quick i want to say thank you to my patrons to every single one of you including the acorns thank you so much adam for your support at the acorn tier patron and thank you so much fane for your support at the acorn tier patron level 
Uh, and I want to give a special shout out to Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. You've been supportive for a very long time and I appreciate that. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, who is my forest tier patron and has gone above and beyond in his support of the channel for a long time now and who is just super supportive and super wonderful and comments all the time. I really appreciate you a lot. I hope you know that. So thank you all again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.